Okay, I want to do a video about rockets in space and uh, whether they work in space. The, the main argument that I see out there for rockets not being work, be able to work in space is that the vacuum of space sucks the fuel out of the rocket faster then the rocket could push it. So that raises a question that actually I had pondered myself even before I even heard of this idea that rockets don't work in space. It raises the question, does vacuum have the ability to pull? I know when we say we sucked up the whatever with a straw or uh, we sucked it up with a vacuum we when we use the word suck we we kind of assume I think most of us assume that the vacuum cleaner is pulling uh, the air in and that leads people to believe that the vacuum of space would pull whatever compressed gases you have available like uh, rocket fuel is compressed gases compressed into a liquid that leads us to believe that vacuum would pull that out so the question is does vacuum have the ability to pull like a rope you know what I mean Uh, and it doesn't. And the way you can figure that out is uh, the way I, I figured it out was like when I was putting my, I was gonna put a water pump on my on top of my well. But you know when you read up on those type of pumps, you know the suction types, supposedly suction. When you read up on it, they only work to a certain depth. They can only lift up so high with supposed suction and then after that say if you go like two feet more higher uh, then then the water gets up to two feet next to two, two feet to the pump and you keep pumping and it just sits there it doesn't it won't go the rest of the way okay so if vacuum had the ability to pull like a rope like a direct connection to something that's in a sealed chamber from one end to the other then that would not happen okay you would just be able to pull it pull water up from any depth at all so the explanation for why that doesn't happen is because vacuum doesn't have the ability to pull like a rope what's happening is the air pressure from all around us from gravity pushing or uh, pushing air down let's say it's pushing whatever the gravity is pushing the air down and the air wants to go every which way you know it doesn't care it'll go up it'll go down or whatever so it's pressing uh, like when you're gonna suck uh, supposedly suck <laughs> supposedly gonna suck uh, some a beverage out with a straw uh, what what's happening is the air pressure is pushing down on the surface of the beverage and when you go and uh, evacuate the straw part that's above uh, the beverage right by expanding the cavity of your mouth now uh, there's more volume for that amount of pressure, the air in that straw is pressurized, just like all the air around us, uh, 14 pounds per square inch. So when you evacuate it, less pressure, right? More volume, right? You just you just created more volume with your mouth, uh, but it's the same amount of gas in there, or air, whatever. So that air uh, expands. It pushes away from itself it's like it's like air doesn't 
want to be next to another air molecule. It's, it's as if it's like that. Science doesn't say that. They say they're all bouncing off each other. It's the same thing. It all works out the same. As if, as if they're like spherical springs that want to get away from each other. So you open up that cavity. So you've got more volume for the same amount of gas. That just means less pressure. Okay, now you get less pressure. Uh, but you still got the same pressure outside of the straw pushing down on the on the surface of the beverage and it's going to force the it's gonna, it, it pushes the liquid up the tube up, up the straw so it's all pushing there's no ability to pull when you're evacuating that straw you're literally just like a vacuum cleaner is you're scooping you're reaching in while well, you're creating a bigger space, so it's like a bellows. You know, you do that. You're creating more area, so it's a little different than a vacuum cleaner. But it's the same thing. You're you're pulling air out. You're with a vacuum cleaner. You're like you're grabbing it and throwing it out. That's what you're doing. You're grabbing it, throwing it out, grabbing it, just continually doing that, grabbing it and throwing it out. And what what happens? The air pressure from the outside, where we all are, runs in because everything is based on expansion. Expand, expand, expand. Okay, so I think I'm over explaining that. But anyways, here's the thing. You can prove this to yourself that vacuum can't, it doesn't have the ability to suck. Just check out... Uh, on uh, YouTube, how does a vacuum pump work? Parentheses, Mr. Wizard. Okay, that's just one of those old Mr. Wizard shows where he's playing with a a vacuum jar, and uh, one of the experiments is what would happen if we put a suction cup in there. And what happens is you put it in, you you turn the pump on. Now you've got lower air pressure in inside the jar. The suction cup doesn't work anymore. But if vacuum had the the ability to pull from one side, one side of the, let's say the suction cup to the surface of the jar, if it had the ability to pull across that little gap, then the suction cup would stay there no matter what pressure is outside there. But that's not really how it works. The suction cup, the suction cup, is forced up against the glass by the air pressure on the outside, and it it wants to pull back and you know regain its shape, but it can't because of the air pressure. So, but if it if vacuum literally had the ability to pull from one side suction cup side to the glass side if it literally had that ability then suction cups would work in a vacuum but they do not they just do this he turns it you can watch it he turns the pump on lowers the pressure vacuum okay equal pressure each side it's all about pressure and pushing <clears throat> once the air isn't pushing up against the back side of the suction cup it's all over. There's no suction going on on the inside. It's not a real thing. There's no suction. There's not, that's not a real thing. The only thing that's happening is higher pressure going to lower pressure, and that's, that's all that's happening. Let's do this example. I keep talking. I keep leaving comments about this. If you had a cylinder, just to, just to make the, do the same thing again, if you had a cylinder, say this is chrome molly, you know, steel sleeve, right? It's chrome. And, uh, super smooth on the inside let's pretend and you had a piston uh, that's perfectly sealed right perfectly snug in here and then if you put another piston in right behind it so now you get two pistons butted up against each other in here okay imagine that because we're trying to figure out from one piston to another does if I move this if I move one piston, now that they're snug together, put them in face to face. If I move one piston inside the cylinder, 
let's say we'll do it here in the atmosphere. And these ends are open, right? So it's just piston, piston, open-ended cylinder. In the atmosphere, if I move, if I like get a string on one, and I pull that, this one goes in the atmosphere now, and the other one follows it because it's being pushed. It's being pushed by the uh, by the atmosphere. If you try that thing, that same thing in space, and you and you pull one piston, the other one is just going to sit there. It sits there because there's no air pressure pushing on the other side of the other piston to make it follow. Right? It's just going to sit there. Just like the suction cup didn't work, this wouldn't work either. So there's no, there's literally no connection. Vacuum has no power to pull. It has no ability. It's just nothing. It's nothing. It's lack of stuff. <laughs> so it has no ability. It can perform no function except as a, a volume for, for other pressurized things to rush into, and that's it. So that's how it works. So when you talk about rockets in space, now we can imagine this is a rocket. So let's imagine uh, this end is sealed here. I'm just going to imagine this. This end is sealed, and here's the Here's the end where the, the supposed, you know, fuel is going to come flying out of. So you got a rocket in space. Uh, what's not happening is the vacuum of space is not pulling stuff out. Like if you just filled that with like a cylinder like this with water and magically materialized it in space with this end still, uh, still covered like a rocket is. This was just filled, and you materialized it in empty space. It would do this, right? Because all of this stuff, all of the water would want to expand and leave. So it would do this. You're not even lighting anything on fire, and it would still work. <laughs> so if you if you lit stuff, you had little explosions going on, that would work even better, and that's what rockets are. So, so, but the water isn't getting pulled out. We're not even talking about rhyme. It's the same thing, the same thing as a rocket. It's the gases, the water is turning into a gas. That means it's expanding because it's low pressure right here in the empty space. So it expands. It, it doesn't want to be next to each other. The only reason we have water in liquid form is because of pressure. So when you go into outer space, you don't have liquid water anymore. You just have uh, disassoci disassociated uh, molecules of water. They don't want to be around each other. So they turn into gas, water vapor, and they leave. And that means this goes this way. All right, you see what I'm saying? I want to hold this tube up. Hold that tube up forever. Okay, so there's, some, there's a series of videos you can check out. You can watch a video called Physical Science, A Vacuum Does Not Pull. Okay, and that'll explain like the air pressure is actually doing the work, uh, pushing stuff into things like vacuum cleaners and up straws and all that. And uh, check out How Does a Vacuum Pump Work? parentheses Mr. Wizard. I don't know if he actually explains the vacuum pump thing, but uh, you'll see enough just from that to understand, okay, well, vacuum isn't literally pulling, so that's not really how that works. What's another one here? And then uh, myth, myth busters, myth bust, myth busters, it's hard to say. I don't think I'm lifting. Mythbusters uh, rocket in vacuum, where they they uh, evacuate uh, like a fish tank, and they put a bottle rocket in there, and the bottle rocket works, even though it's in a vacuum. So there you go. Uh, people want to say, well, they cheated by putting it up against the wall or whatever. Uh, do it yourself. 
Vacuum doesn't pull. If you if you don't trust me, I mean look into what I said about just pumps, you know. How high can you lift water, you know? At sea level, you can a, a supposed suction uh, pump could lift water more, uh, lift it to a higher level than if you went to, you know, on top of a mountain. It's, the air pressure is less, and you get less lift, and that right there tells you something. It tells you something. That it's about the pressure and not about the supposed pull. There's no pull going on. You should be able to convince yourself of this truth that uh, vacuum does not pull, it doesn't have the ability to pull. Vacuum cleaners don't pull. They throw air out one end and the air pressure of the surrounding air pressure of the globe pushes pushes air in to replace it and stuff gets rolled along with it. And that's how it works. But it's tough. It's tough uh, doing a search on YouTube. How does a vacuum cleaner work? It's tough. I put some links in another video I did uh, that come close to explaining it. It's so simple, but they never say it. They never say, we're just throwing air out of one end. We're grabbing it, throwing it. And atmospheric pressure is replacing it. There's no pulling. There's no sucking. Unless you want to say that that whole process of throwing out and getting replaced is sucking, if that's the definition of sucking, then okay. But I, I'm saying, then, that sucking is not the same as pulling. Vacuum cannot pull. I guarantee that. If you want to say it sucks because your definition of sucks is air pressure flowing in to replace uh, other air volume, that's fine. But make sure you understand that it has no ability to pull. <clears throat> I'll put these links in the uh, description box. I mean, there's other arguments against rockets working in space but I'm just gonna leave it at that because this is uh, you know maybe I'll do some other later but I mean this is already too long I think I took too long to explain this I don't know if you know what I'm one of my veneers I crushed one of my veneers in my sleep I know, so I get five shiny teeth in front now instead of six it's a bummer. It's a bummer. Alright, good day. Look into it.